Welcome everyone to the Joelle Martin Mastery Podcast. I'm a networking expert and the author of the upcoming book, No, No Strangers, How to Build Community, One Relationship at a Time. My why is the pursuit of mastery, and the goal of this podcast is to lock arms on a lifelong mission of daily personal growth to become the best version of ourselves. So let's dive in to today's episode. Welcome everyone to today's episode of the podcast where I'll be sharing the quote of the week. This one comes to us from Theodore Roosevelt. It's referred to as the man in the arena and it goes like this. It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again, because there is no effort without error and shortcomings, but who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least he fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. So that quote was brought to my attention by best-selling author Brene Brown, and it is the inspiration for the title of her best-selling book, Daring Greatly. So I want to share my top four takeaways that I get from reading that quote, and here they are. Number one, it is better to be a participant in the game of life versus just being a spectator in the crowd. Number two, you have to block out the critics, the naysayers, the energy vampires, the negative Nancys. The truth is if you knew how little other people think of you, you'd stop caring what they thought. Number three, It is better to fail while daring greatly than it is to have never tried and to live with regret. Number four, if you learn from your failures, then those failures become lessons. If you're not failing, you're just not trying hard enough and you need failure to grow. So that is the quote of the week. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have a favorite quote that you'd like me to feature here on the podcast, just reach out to me on social media and let me know. My links are in the description for this episode. So thank you for joining me here today, and we'll see you on the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode, and I'd love to hear from you guys. My goal is to grow this podcast organically, where you're giving me feedback on topics you'd like me to cover and guests you'd like me to interview. You can reach out to me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Joelle Martin Mastery. Joelle is J-O-E-L. And on Twitter at Joelle Mastery. So I am done. I am complete. I approve this message. And I'll see you on the next episode.